Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My beloved one, today is 19th day of February, being Saturday, and week 6, in all that time of the church calendar year C. Today being Saturday, we celebrate our blessed Virgin Mary. And readings will be coming from Epistle of James chapter 3, verse 1 to 10. Our response to Psalm will come from Psalm 12, verse 8a. A gospel message will come from Mark Gospel chapter 9, verse 2 to 13. The theme of our message is, this is my beloved son listening to him. This is my beloved son listening to him. Today, heaven is witnessing and calling all of us to listen to his, our Lord Jesus Christ. They have been witnessing for that today. This happened when Jesus went on the mountain with his apostle Peter, James, and John to pray privately in the mountain with them. They are Jesus transfigured. His face and clothing were shining beyond compare. And behold, he was talking with Moses, and Moses and Elijah was talking with him. That Peter confessed and professed, and we didn't know what he was talking about, we are told, that his better would be a three tense here. Wonderful, it's glorious. One for you, one for Moses, one for Elijah. It's better we stay here. Oh, so glorious. And suddenly, a crowd overshadowed all of them. And from that crowd came a voice. This is my beloved son. Listen to him. They were so afraid in all the situation around them. And when they opened their eyes, they saw no other person except Jesus. He began to tell them, that they should not tell any person about what they saw when he has risen from the dead. They kept what he told them. They didn't keep it to themselves. But they were questioning among themselves, what does it mean to rise him from the dead? What does it mean? They couldn't understand it. And they began to tell him that the scribe said Elijah will first come. He said, yes, Elijah has come to restore everything. Likewise, the son of man came. And they treated them as he pleased them. So it was little of him. They treated him as it was little for him. And that's why the Son of Man, in the same way, suffered many things and be treated with contempt. They treated him as that. He go the way his father, the God, decided for him. That's why he's telling you today, listen to this, my beloved son. And he's teaching, as he instructed them, and guiding them on the way of salvation. That's why God, heavenly saying, listen to him. He's the image of unseen God. He's the way, he's the truth, he's the life. I see in John 14, 6. He's the Alpha and Omega. He's the first born from the dead. He is the truth. And that's why today they say, listen to him. When he guides you, listen to him, you can never make a mistake. When you listen to a perfect word, you become perfect. When you listen to a holy word, you become holy. When you listen to a holy man, you become a holy person. That's why God said, this is my beloved son, listen to him. The person you listen to matters a lot. And that's why someone said, they said this is the man who doesn't listen to the advice of devil men. And never go in company of sinners or amongst corners. But rather he takes interest in studying the word of God day and night. That would be like a tree planted by the water side. He live without God dry. And anything he put hand will prosper. When you're on the side of God, when you listen to him and go his way, not the word of devil men. And they say a lot of blessings. If you listen to the word of God, if you listen to that word, that is holy, you become holy. 
What that is God, it makes you God. For all who had the word accepted, gave the privilege of being children of God, John chapter 1, verse 12. And when you believe in this word, you do the same work Jesus is doing. I can see in John 14, 12. So that's why the word said, listen to my son. He has the message of eternal life. And Peter would tell him, Lord, where do, who shall we go to? You have the message of eternal life. And now why today James begins to tell us that the tongue can be as dangerous as anything. And he said, let not many of us become teachers. Because brethren, if you're a teacher, you'll be judged with greater strictness. And you, make, you know, many men make a lot of mistakes in what they're doing. And if you make mistakes as a teacher, you mislead many people. You can lead them into sin because you, you made mistake. That way to be a teacher is more dangerous thing than others. Because what you are teaching them to believe you. You are teaching them to leave it out. And when you make a mistake, you, you mislead them. And now I'm telling us today, any person who is perfect must have been able to breathe through the whole body. You are control of every aspect of your body, then you are a perfect person. But who is perfect? Who has able to control every part of himself? Except if you are a God. And that's why just begin to tell us about the implication of all this. If you put beads into the mouth of a horse, you will control that horse. It will obey you. You will guide that horse completely. And he gave us another example. Look at the sheep. If you, a rudder is a small thing, but if you put the rudder in the sheep, you control the whole sheep as the pilot decides. Telling you the power of control. And he said, another example, the tongue is a little member of the body. And boast of great things. It's little, but boast of great things. How great is a forest? It's set ablaze by a small fire. The great forest is set ablaze by a small fire. And the tongue is a fire. The tongue is, a righteous, is an unrighteous word among members, standing the whole body, setting on fire the circle of nature. That's the tongue of man. The tongue of man setting the whole circle of nature on fire. We set on fire by her for every kind of beast or bird of reptiles of all sea creatures can be tamed and have been tamed my man. You see, it, you have control, can be controlled. But no human being cannot tame the tongue. A listless evil, full of deadly poison. With it, we bless the Lord and Father. And with it, we cause men who are made in the image of God, from the same mouth comes blessings and cursing. My brethren, this ought not to be so. It's telling us the implication of the tongue in our lives. And who can control these tongues? You can only control this tongue if you have listened to the voice of the, the son of the, the voice of the only beloved son. That's the only way you can control it. No human being can do it on his own until you listen to him and you are in him. That's the time you can control this tongue. But on your own, you can't tame it. Every other thing can be tamed, but not the tongue. And the, the tongue can only be tamed if you listen to the voice of his own beloved son. That's the only way you can do it. Your word becomes persuasive. Your word becomes appealing. Your becomes kind, good. But outside it is a fire that can set any person on a brace. So you can see why we should listen to the voice of the only God. If you listen to the voice, you come to know the truth, and the truth will set you free. 
That why the world didn't know him. And they were saying his prophet Elijah is concerned about it because they don't listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. So they haven't heard him. People who heard him automatically will speak things from him, not their own anymore. Peter spoke that it's better to build tents for them. He was talking only from the Spirit of God. Haven't listened to the voice of, of the Son. And now what the psalmist who understood this so well today, this year, it is good, it is you, O Lord, who will keep us safe. Yes, it's only you who will keep us safe. On our own, we are finished. On our own, we can be tamed. On our own, we perish. But in him, listen to his voice, we are redeemed, we are saved, we are healed, we are saved. Let's ask God to give us the grace today to listen to the voice of his beloved son in every situation, in a thousand words and action, so that we'll be able to tell this body one of the gifts, if you are in him, is self-control. And the word will give you that self-control. The Spirit of God in you gives you self-control. Then we come to understand accept this today and recognize this by listening to the voice of his beloved son. We ask through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us and we celebrate our ability to listen to the voice of his only beloved son. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all. Oh, 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 oh,